So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here today, some real authentic microbe hunting because what you see here are bacteria, I put a little bit of yogurt uh, under the microscope and yogurt as you pro probably might already know is uh, full of yogurt bacteria, those yogurt bacteria can be seen quite well um, as tiny little dark dots and little chains here in the background all of these tiny little structures here, like over here you've got a chain up here as well, some short chains, all of these are yogurt bacteria that were added to the milk to ferment the milk in, into yogurt. You also see some of these uh, brighter patches over here. Uh, these might be some milk fat or milk protein. Yeah, And in the liquid between those, uh, this is where you find a lot of, of these bacteria. Now, this is not the first time that I'm actually showing you bacteria under the microscope, but today I would like to talk about something that I think I consider very fascinating. And that is the fact that those yogurt bacteria, which are cells, even though they look so different to our own body cells, to my own body cells, we share a lot of similarities, maybe more similarities uh, than we might actually um, yeah, think um, about. And uh, the cells, the yogurt bacteria essentially um, do, yeah, of course, also have DNA. They do have a genetic code, just like my cells. And even though the genetic, uh, the DNA that those uh, bacteria have um, is significantly shorter than the DNA in my body cells, the genetic code is the same. So this, uh, in simple words, essentially means that the DNA um, that these bacteria have um, and the DNA that my body cells have um, are, yeah, on a surprising level, very compatible to each other. And uh, what do I mean when I say compatible? Um, it is possible to take DNA of a human body cell, for example, and to transfer them uh, into bacteria by techniques called you know, genetic engineering, essentially. Genetic engineering, there are several techniques that can be used to transfer DNA from one organism to another. And then when we transfer this DNA, then those cells, the receiver, the receiving cells, the bacteria, are still able to understand the foreign DNA that they received. That's, I think, uh, quite fascinating. So essentially all living things speak the same language um, and the purpose of the DNA in a cell is, is to make proteins. So if I take a body cell uh, or the DNA rather of one of my body cells and if I were to put it into a bacterium, then this bacterium would be able to understand um, what this DNA actually represents and is able to make um, a protein out of this DNA. Yeah, so again, the language that all living things speak, so to say, the, the language of the DNA, the language of the gen genetic code is the same, it is universal. That's one of the very fascinating things here that uh, even though those yogurt bacteria appear to be so very different uh, from my own body cells, and actually here, yeah, um, on, on, a diff on a higher level they are quite different, um, but if we really go deep down, and if you really look at the biochemistry um, of those cells, then there are a lot of similarity among all, li all living things. And one of the reasons, of course, or the reason why this is the case rather, is this because all living things share a common ancestor. Uh, and uh, all living things originate uh, from the same an uh, ancestral cell. Yeah? So very interesting uh, to see that. And every time when I um, eat yogurt, I have to think of that, that essentially I'm eating cells that are, yeah, essentially on a very, very deep level, uh, not so much different uh, from my own body cells. Yeah, a little bit some food for thought here. Um, I leave it at that. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.